Hi guys, welcome to this new video. It's been a while, but uh, I've been well occupied at work uh, these last few months. Either work or uh, being sick, so it wasn't very funny. So, it's nice. It's Friday. And I've had a very long and intense uh, work week. So, uh, it's kind of nice to uh, get this package inside. I've got two leather covers from the leather quilt shop, but I've been waiting for it. It's one of the uh, uh, few covers that have attracted my attention. And also, as nice stuff comes in numbers, I also received this book uh, by Margaret Atwood. Uh, you will not be familiar with that title, but you will probably be more familiar with Oryx and Crane and this is a book I intend to read uh, with my son because in the evening we do reading sessions. We read about half an hour which is the uh, most of what I can do after a day of teaching. Uh, my voice is hurt a bit and <laughs> this is the most I can do so. But it's nice having reading sessions. Uh, my son is about 12 years old so it's going to be nice I think and uh, quite in line with the uh, subjects that do interest us, and that should be uh, that should be nice. And I've ordered the second one too, uh, in the hope that the first one was good. So let's come back to this because this is what you're interested in. Uh, okay, first let's start with the reasons why I uh, bought these covers. Uh, I'm always looking for something that suits my taste absolutely, and I like thick levers but I do not like stiff levers and I'm looking for A5 sizes that are reasonable in price and with a leather quilt shop you've got nice colors but you also have raw colors and you have thick leather that seems seem to me to be exactly kind of what I was looking for not too stiff and they do uh, their basic size is the A5 which is so nice I really love the A5 size. For writing it's just perfect. And I mean for planning you can go for a traveler's notebook size. I have trouble with using the smaller sizes uh, for anything more than brain dumps. And this, the A5, is the perfect size for me for writing. So let's uh, open this. I've got my long pair of scissors. Let's open it on the side. I always worry when I open these to uh, actually cut what's inside, so I'm going to try and be careful there. It's just the inside. Okay, I'm going to take out the letter that seems to be in between the two leather covers. Yeah, there's not a word. Uh, okay, and so there's my dress too. Right, so there's... I'm going to put aside the uh, personal information and there's something by the leather quilt shop. Congrats on your new leather quilt. It's made from a premium 9 to 10 Oz leather, which to me as a French person absolutely says nothing. <laughs> and dyed and finished. Okay, so it explains the process that water is not a leather quilt's friend, as it often is with leather that is not, uh, that doesn't have a protection cover, or I mean a, a chemical protection cover. Okay, so you can contact them if you have questions. There is the Facebook group and they've got size charts and inserts. Yeah, they do have inserts. And what I got interested in is that uh, Mandy in one of her videos mentioned that uh, she uses uh, the Rodeo web notebooks inside. I love the Rodeo web notebooks as I mentioned in the former video. A recent one, I think that was the last one. Okay, so here's one. And here is the other. I can't remember if I chose two different sizes, but I think no, I went for a five both times. So here is the logo of the Leather Quill Shop. Okay, Leather Quill Shop. I like the name of their shop, it's nice. So let's open this. So which one is this one? Ah, that's the raw one. I love raw leather. Okay, so as you see, it's an A5 size, and yeah, that's nice. But as you see, it's quite pliable, and it does look like a lever that's going to be more and more pliable. Yeah, and it's firm as well, and it's thick. Okay, so 9 to 10 Oz doesn't mean a thing to me, but I think 
uh, four to five millimeters would be uh, my uh, um, my reference size. Wow, that's a nice size, nice thickness. I love that thickness, and I like that finish. But it's not brown enough for me, and uh, I didn't care about the finish too much because I can do it myself. So that's nice. A nice piece of leather. What does it smell like? Mmm. Yeah, it's a nice smell of leather. Absolutely nice. So basically that would be the raw leather and that would be the leather they use when they color it, probably. That's nice. So it's called the Nude, if I remember well, the name of that leather. And here you've got the embossing, the leather quill shop, which is something I love. I don't like it when you do not have the trademark. And I mean, maybe there are people who would like to have nothing on it, but I do make my own notebooks and they have no embossing so I like to see that I've got mine right so I haven't yet looked inside so when you order you can choose between plenty of sizes and you can choose wrap or no wrap so this is the roll and no wrap and the reason I chose the no wrap is I want to use this for intense heavy writing so uh, the wrap may be something that comes back on my hand and I wouldn't enjoy it. Though you can still use the wrap at putting it under the notebook. But I wanted something that was more like a book cover uh, for my um, intense writing notebook. Okay, so that is a perfect size. Right. And yeah, it's nice to the touch, it's a thick lever. Um, it doesn't have a lot of bump in it, but it's nice. And the borders have been finished. Right. And there is a bit of the product that went over the side. But this absolutely doesn't matter because with time it just either goes away or the borders just get darker and it's even nicer. So it really absolutely doesn't matter. Yeah, that lever is nice. How does it... it yeah. It, cracks a bit when you want to uh, to bend it cracks a bit not much okay let's have a look inside also I did mention <coughs> you can choose between the different colors of elastics they have also a nice choice of colors so uh, I like brown and row so I just went for something very classical so let's have a look inside uh, that's exactly the kind of inside that I like Oh, that is something I really love. I know I'm a very tactile person with leather, but it's really, really what I'm looking for. It's like, I spent a lot of time with my covers doing this, like brushing on it. And after a while, they get very shiny here, which is something I love. And, uh, and you can feel like it's very soft inside. That's a very nice leather that they use. I really like that. And also, what's very interesting about the Lever Quill Shop is their prices, frankly. I mean, about this one. For something like $45 or something, I cannot remember the exact price, but I think the difference between the wrap and no wrap is like 5 euros. Like, if you take the A5, no wrap, it's 45 point, or 44, wait, yeah, that's right, 44.99 dollars. And if you take it with the wrap, it's 49.99. So uh, if you compare these prices to uh, other makers, they are very cheap in terms of price. But the quality is very nice. Okay, so it's not as sophisticated in terms of composition as a Mr. Darcy with its little pockets and stuff. But for an A5 Darcy, you do pay $150. And I love my Darcy, but it's very expensive. Like, I'm not going... I, I would love to have all the possible sizes and colors of Darcy's, but I cannot afford them. Right? And then I've also noticed something, that if you have a cheaper notebook, then you really use it. <laughs> what I mean is that I, I've noticed that with knives. I am an outdoor lover. And I have knives. I have expensive ones and I've, I have the che very cheap Mara ones. And I use the very cheap ones and do plenty of things with them. And then what I finally do is I end up using only the cheap ones, which I love. And that's the kind of thing you would do with that. You would, 
use it, not fear uh, changing it. I mean, even expecting it to uh, like take the grease of your hands and change with time, that would just be perfect. Perfect. So that's very nice. I'm very happy with this one. Very happy. All right. So let's see the other one. So that one is the wrap. Because I've never had a wrap A5 notebook, so I wanted to try that one. So let's have a look inside. So the color is Bumblebee. I love the name. I love the names they use. And Bumble Bumblebee doesn't speak to me, but it sounds good. I have no idea what a Bumblebee is, or if it means anything, or if it's a reference to something. If if you know, then please tell me in the comments, because I have no idea, but the color, my god, the color is Winnie the Pooh color. It's, yeah, wow. I mean, look at that. It's a pity I have little sun, because it looks really good. Oh, there's a little card there. Brett and Mandy Bruno, the leather quail shop. Right, and that is a picture of the uh, Garrett, if I remember well. It's a more sophisticated version of a rather manly, tough kind of uh, notebook that is pretty nice, but uh, I didn't have the means to uh, to order that much. Okay, look at that color. It's really like honey. Honey colored, rich, yellow color. I do not go for yellow usually, it's not my color, but this one is, it would seem perfect. And I chose this one, but frankly, I didn't think much about the color because I have elastics myself, so I didn't care much. But I think that's a poor choice of color. Uh, I'm not good at choosing colors. A brown would have been perfect on this. So that's a nice wrap. So when you choose the wrap, you can choose the uh, straight wrap, or you can choose a natural uh, side wrap, which is what I went for, because I think it's nicer, it's raw. It looks good. Right. And they obviously have rolled the lever to give it a bit of texture. Look at this. That is nice texture. So typically with that color, what's going to happen is when you have these marks, they will get darker uh, in a few places and they'll remain lighter on others and then it will get more character with time. Right, here we've got the uh, lever quill shop embossing, which comes out nicer on this one than on the raw one. It's hardly visible on the other one. So it looks nicer on this one. The smell is absolutely not different. I have no idea what they use as dyes, but from what I remember it was rather clean. That's nice. Let's have a look inside. Huh. Looks nicer. Sometimes it's something that happens uh, either because there are differences between the hides, even when you use the uh, same uh, source, you get different hides. I have that w uh, same uh, thing happen with the hides I order. And this one was a bit more on the hairy side, right, you can see. And this one is more on the uh, soft side. Well, I love both, so it's nice to have both uh, kind of appearances. Maybe it's from the dye. This happens because of the dye. Now look at that color. It's absolutely gorgeous. That's a very nice choice of colors. And the thing is, when I went on the website and I had to make a choice because I was limited in the possibilities that I had, um, there were so many colors I wanted to try. Like that turquoise seems splendid. If I can, I think. From what I've seen so far, and I've just opened it, I just love it. And it's available, I mean, it's affordable for me, so uh, I might be able to uh, to sell something and maybe afford um, another of their beautiful colors. And the more they come with, out with new products, the more I go crazy, like it's very, very nice. I think that shop really does deserve more attention. It's, a kind of newcomer, well, not really a newcomer, but kind of in the market. And um, there aren't so many makers, if you think of it. And that's really a very nice, very nice look. The finish is absolutely superb. It's really nice work. Yep, very nice. Look at that. 
and the leather is exactly what I was looking for. It's thick, but very pliable. Very pliable, very pleasant to the touch. It's really a very nice piece of leather. And it may be simple, but it's more finished than most of what you find uh, from uh, makers on the internet. I like these finished borders a lot. It's very nice. This one I'm not going to uh, finish myself to add a bit more color to it. Because on the other one, uh, as you can see, uh, there is a bit of brown. I mean, when you put that kind of product on the side and then you brush on it to get that aspect and get it uh, to become uh, uh, solid, then you do get a brown aspect when it kind of burns. But what I would like is to have it uh, all around. Oh, they do offer this, by the way. They do offer this as well. You can have add-ons. Like, for example, you can have your bumblebee in one color and the inside in another color. Crazy, isn't it? And the add-ons are pretty affordable too, I must, I must say. So it's very nice. Right. Thick one. So you can you can actually use it like this and then it gives protection to the side of your notebook. That's actually nice. I never thought about this, but that is how you would normally use the wrap to show the natural side of the, of the height. And then if you just want a regular looking notebook and then you want protection for the side of your notebook, then that is just perfect. Because this part of your notebook actually does get um, destroyed if you take it in a bag or something. At some point you will get something inside. And Right, if I had to write, I would actually have, indeed, to uh, put my uh, hand and steady that part, which is not something I really like for intense writing, but this notebook is absolutely gorgeous. So, definitely, um, I find that wrap kind of useful, but I think it would, it would bother me to have to do this all the time, so I'm probably just a no-wrap person, it's very personal. But I'm actually all into that bumblebee color. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like gold, but I do not like things that shine too much. It's like gold that doesn't shine. It's nice. Look at that piece. Splendid. I wish I could get my hand on such leather here. Because if I could, then I would buy it, and then I would do these things myself. And I would make my book covers in this leather. And look at how it's been roll, rolled to give it a bit more texture. It's really gorgeous. You can see a lot of things on this lever. It's not like um, here, you even have a little thing there. Also, something interesting is that sometimes they do get hides that have um, very strong veins in them. And people sometimes like those veins and, they, and then they. Uh, they want these. So when they have uh, particular notebooks with strong veins, they send a picture to the uh, uh, client and then ask if it's fine. And if it is, then they send the uh, notebook, which I think is perfect. Uh, absolutely perfect, because sometimes you would like to see things like this, for example. It's nice inside your cover. It's leather. It's hide. You want it to show that it's still a bit alive. So it's from a dead animal, but right, that's very nice. I think I'll go for this, like wrap inside for the moment, and then that purple color is definitely uh, one of the worst choices I've made. But uh, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Like elastics don't really matter in the end. That's very nice, and that's a roll lever. Uh, it's a bit more shiny than the other one. So that is something that you want to go for if you want it to change, take on color and get on a rich brown that gets uh, reddish tints in it. That is going to change with time, it's going to look beautiful. And that is something you go for if you want colors and things that doesn't change too much. Though I think it will get a bit browner with time. Right, so I hope you enjoyed it. So uh, think about going to the leather quilt shop. That's definitely something uh, I'm really enjoying this. I'm going to tonight. I'm going to put a to put a uh, web notebook inside. 
see how it goes inside. Oh, by the way, you've got four elastics. Since I only plan on uh, putting one notebook inside, or maybe I've got options to put pockets on the on both sides. But that lever is really nice, and I think that when I compare it to um, all the notebook covers that I've bought, these are very, very nice. Very nice. Thick. If you go for thick uh, but pliable lever, something that is very solid and sturdy, that's definitely a go-to. And frankly, their colors are splendid. Very affordable price. Yep. Very happy with that. I think there's an idea in my head that I get stuck there like I'm gonna have I'm gonna need that turquoise color but uh, I just can't afford this because my uh, husband bought a um, lawnmower and it was needed and that is not needed like I've got plenty of these but passion what can you do about this <sighs> collecting well, I hope this was useful for you. I hope you enjoyed my uh, leather quilt shop, shop notebooks. I will love these and uh, I will put them to good use. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh, by the way, uh, I am going to receive a package from Rossi Notebooks from Italy. Uh, they have new products that they want me to show, so I will receive these notebooks soon. I suppose last time it was so fast. So I will soon receive them. So the next video will be about regular notebooks. Rossi is very nice paper quality, so it's probably going to be quite nice. See you!